In this video, you're going to learn how you can get more people coming to your website. If you're an internet marketer, blogger, or someone with a website or something to sell online. Twitter.com is a social media website with a lot of conversations going on that you can join in and get your message in front of people. The good news is it costs absolutely nothing to set up an account and begin tweeting or making status updates, which we'll show you how to do here. I'll show you how to set up a free account here and begin getting attention and new followers by responding to existing popular conversations. There's all kinds of people talking about various topics on Twitter, a lot of eyeballs and attention to be had. In this way, you can leverage the followers that someone else has on Twitter to stand out and get clicks and people visiting your own website or squeeze page. So the three steps, set up a profile on Twitter, find popular conversations where the type of people who would be interested in what you have to offer are already paying attention, and then reply by making a comment or a tweet in response to it, including a link to the web page of your site that you want people going to. So the first step is to join Twitter.com if not already. It's very simple. You can do it in 10 minutes, and it's free. So here's how to set it up. To do this, you'll want to go to twitter.com and they have a link there that says sign up or register. Click on that, enter a username that you want to go by, and a password. I would make your username somewhat relevant to the topic that you'll be discussing or that you're selling, and uh, if possible, the same thing as your domain name or something very close to it so that people will associate one with the other. The next step would be to get a Twitter background in settings there. Uh, and that is what people see when they first come to your Twitter page and you see the whole background. You can upload a photo pretty easily or use Twitbacks in order to have one made. Uh, there is a cost of doing that. And uh, worst case, you just don't have one at all because most people are using this from their mobile phone anyway. And they'll see your posts and click on links without even going to your page. But it is part of setting up your profile. There's also a free service called Bitly that you'll want to use. Go ahead and Google that. You'll go to the website and it can shorten the links that you are telling people to click on because Twitter only gives you 140 characters to write your total message in each time that you post something so if your web address is domain name dot com forward slash and then like five words after it uh, that link alone could be 70 characters or pretty long with a bitly link it's more like 20 characters long and that gives you more space in, or, in order to write your main message. So go to Bitly. Any link you want to share on Twitter, you just paste it into that bar at the top there. Click on the Shorten button. They'll give you a shortened version of it, and you can even see how many people clicked on that link by coming back here and checking your stats. The next step is to find conversations going on about a topic where you can contribute. I'll show you how to do that right here. The key is to contribute to popular conversations that more people are watching. The reason is, if it's just two guys going back and forth on some topic, and you jump in, how many people see it? Just those two and perhaps their few followers. But if there is someone who has tens of thousands of followers making a conversation and you jump in, then all of his followers are going to see you. So check out hashtags.org in order to find out conversations with the most popular hashtags going on. You can see here there's the trending hashtags or ones that are becoming more or less popular and ones that are the most popular down there in the bottom left corner on different topics. A hashtag is something that people use to categorize what they're talking about. So if it's TV and entertainment uh, there's a couple different hashtags there like news. So if someone sees something on the news then they can write a message and then put hashtag news to let people know that it's about news. From there, you can click on any of those to see actual conversations going on where people are using those hashtags, or you can just search for them in Twitter itself. You'll want to choose people to reply to who have at least a thousand fans or followers of their own in order to get more eyeballs. Another tool you can use to find out how popular certain hashtags and therefore the conversations that include those hashtags are is to go to hashtagify.me which is a website where you can find out 
how popular certain relevant hashtags are. So let's say that you want to send people to a web page of yours where they can find out more about how to make money online. All right, that's that may not be one of the most popular hashtags, but you would come here and type it in, and uh, sure enough, it has a popularity of 48.1, which is pretty high. You can take your turns practicing uh, with different keywords in here and find out what the most popular ones are so that you can choose certain ones and not waste your time commenting on ones where fewer people are looking. So let's say that you're on Twitter now and you found a bunch of conversations by searching for a certain popular hashtag. You see people engaged in them who have more than a thousand followers. It's time to reply in one of two ways. Conversation hacks and link jacking. The first way is to re retweet a popular post that's already going on. Right? You, there's an option that you have to either reply to it or to retweet it to all of your own followers. So click on retweet and then add the username of the first person to tweet about it. The person who made the original comment and the first person who replied to it because that's going to be one of their most dedicated followers. And uh, go ahead and add a couple words if you want to that. You can use the quote option to add your own comment or contribution to it. Now the best thing to add to it of course is a link to your website. Maybe some information on uh, why they should go there or encouraging people to check it out. So when you retweet a conversation you can add the hashtag or some words such as fix it here if it's about a bad economy or uh, check this out, free report, whatever, and then insert your bit.ly link right there and then you've not only joined in the conversation you've added a couple of words of your own and a link where people can go to find out more relevant information and each time you do that hopefully some people will see and click on your link and it's just a matter of doing it over and over again in order to have a steady stream of free traffic coming to your website or blog take 10 minutes a day set the initial goal of replying to 50 or 100 conversations see how many you can do in 10 minutes the first time it's going to take a while right but then after that Keep spending 10 minutes a day, 10 minutes a day, 10 minutes a day. See how much traffic you get by checking your bit.ly link stats and see how many people clicked on it. That's your initial goal, and uh, doing that is going to get more people coming to your website so you can make more money. Now, this is just one of many ways to get more visitors, more subscribers, and more sales, no matter what it is that you're offering. If you want to find new ways to make money online or get people coming to your website, Go ahead and click the subscribe button so that you can see our future videos coming out.